What up, Cyber Heroes? Boyd Clue is here, the Six Figure Tech Career Coach. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about the unseen cybersecurity skill not taught in school that you could be leveraging for a lucrative tech career. Are you ready for this? Let's go. What up, Cyber Heroes? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Boyd Clues, internationally recognized cybersecurity expert, and I help people end the cycle of financial poverty by upgrading their jobs into six-figure tech careers. If you want to join me on this journey, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell so that you're notified whenever I drop new content guaranteed to take your career to six figures and beyond. For the most part, many of us have a basic degree of understanding when it comes to cybersecurity. For example, creating strong passwords, not sharing passwords, not clicking suspicious links, or sending money to people claiming to be your uncle in other countries. Hmm, we know this, but what is the idea behind this? And the one critical skill that is missing from this equation that ties it all together is critical thinking. Yes, critical thinking is a major component of cybersecurity and it's not taught in schools. Okay, so you may be wondering like, why is critical thinking so critical to cybersecurity? And the answer is simple. It's because cybersecurity is not just about technology. It's about the people in technology and how they use it. But it's also about the tactics that attackers would use to exploit that technology. And if we want to be ahead of the game and actually do our jobs and defend people and companies, we need to be able to use critical thinking to anticipate what the hackers may do based on our technology use cases. And this is why critical thinking is so important. If you can't think critically, then you cannot protect and you will never be a step ahead of the attackers. You'll always be behind and reactive. And if you wanna make money in tech, it's not about being reactive, it's about being proactive so you can prevent evil. That's what they say prevent evil. And here is like, we're going to go through an example right now of why critical thinking is so important because most people don't realize one of the biggest, no, if not, I believe it is the biggest attack vector that cyber criminals use has nothing to do with hacking or breaking it to networks and everything to do with you giving them your username and password. And they do it through something called social engineering. It is pretending to be legitimate but essentially it is conning or scamming people into giving up their username and passwords to the network. And they usually do this through text messages, phone calls, or emails. So what we're gonna do real quick is jump into my computer and walk through a phishing email that I actually received so you can hear my thought process on how I analyze it so that you can do the same. Okay, Cyber Heroes, we're taking a look at an email that I received from Microsoft to reset my password. You, you got to understand the tactics that um, cyber criminals use in order to attack people. They use a, a formula, if you will. So there's usually things like there is high urgency, right? High importance for people to take action quickly. And there's also an element of fear because these attacks are usually targeted at people at their jobs, right? And most people don't want to get in trouble so they don't get fired. So they usually take action quickly and the cyber criminals take full advantage of that. So this email that I received right here with the subject line, important, secure your account, password expiration reminder for my email address, all right? So first thing first, when I opened this up, I looked at who is the sender? Okay, and it says service desk. I don't know whose email this is. I don't know what organization they're associated with, but I know just based on my organization, I should not be receiving an email about my credentials from an iCloud account. So I looked at, that was the first thing I noticed. Now, ideally, what a good attacker would have done was created something that said service desk at microsoft.com and had this email embedded in the background, which then I would have checked that out anyway. I already know this email is not associated with my environment. So I'm already on like high alert, like, okay, not cool. Second thing is this message was sent high priority, which made it pop up in my mailbox, right? This is what they want you to do. They want this email to stand out. So you're more likely to open it and click the link. And so then here's the message. 
So even before I get into the message, I'm looking at this design of this Microsoft box and it is just not crisp and smooth the way that I expect a Microsoft product to come or an email. I mean, Microsoft is a freaking multi-billion dollar company and this email looks a little kindergarten-y, all right? So all these things are happening like, like in split seconds. I'm just walking through this, right? Because I built the repetition, the habit of doing this. Okay, so it says Microsoft password expiration alert. Okay, I'm scared, I'm scared. The next thing says, uh, the password to your email account is due to expire today. Kindly keep or renew your password to avoid login interruption to your account. Status code, made up this status code, blah, blah, blah. Use the tab below to keep or renew your password. And so they want you to click this button and it says uh, failure to complete the request issues found on system will no longer be investigated or fixed. Failure to complete request issues found on system will, like this doesn't even make any sense. But again, right there, they're adding that extra layer of fear and urgency to make you click the link. So before you click the link, pause, just take a moment and let's investigate. So I went further and um, again, looked at the sender, there's the, the message. So what I did was I hovered over where it said key password and I looked at this link. So think about this again. This email is supposed to be coming from Microsoft. If it's supposed to be coming from Microsoft, why are they sending me to this RECP dot something, blah, blah, little blue rocket ship? That don't make sense. So we're not gonna click this email. What we're gonna do is we're gonna notify this, we're gonna mark this as spam and send this to our incident response team. But this is the process that you need to go to. You have to question everything. You have to question everything. So that was the example of what critical looks like on the other end of receiving it. But that's only one aspect, guys. That's only one aspect. Critical thinking will allow you to transform your life and monetize like you never would believe. Because that email coming to my mailbox, to me, most people will see a problem, but I see a money making opportunity. Right. So let's say that I'm a security consultant and one of my clients is getting emails like this. The first thing that I'm going to think about, remember, critical thinking is why did that email hit that client's mailbox in the first place? Why was it allowed in there? Because it shouldn't have been. If we could develop a solution, we could implement a solution that would actually stop these things, these emails before they ever hit the mailbox, then we actually reduce the risk to the company. Because if the CEO of a company is getting that email, sure enough, other people are, and maybe they haven't been formally trained or having a bad day, and they just go through and click the email quickly, and then next thing you know, our credentials are with a malicious actor and they attack our network. You see how that one question, why was this email allowed in, creates a money-making opportunity. This is where critical thinking comes in, and if you do it right, you can shine. You will see problems differently, but schools don't teach this. IT courses don't teach this. What they teach you how to do is follow step by step by step by step. But all that does is turn you into a robot. Every job that I had in my life that provided the orientation, the step-by-step -step to execute my job, paid me like crap. Case in point, my first job, step-by-step -step process, onboarding, no creativity at all, I worked at Subway. Yeah, yes, the sandwich place, right? They paid me $5.35 per hour because there was zero creativity required for me. They told me how much bread to use, how much cheese to use, how many pickles and lettuce. Everything was decided for me. Therefore, anybody could do the position. But when you put yourself in position to critically think, develop solutions to solve problems using your creativity, you can become so highly paid, guys. And this is exactly what we teach inside of the Baxter Clewis Training Academy. So if you wanna learn the cybersecurity skills and how to think like a high paid security consultant to add value to high profile companies around the world, I would love to mentor you and train you so that you can elevate your career in the cycle of poverty by becoming 
a six figure cybersecurity specialist and you can do it in as little as 90 days, guys. All you gotta do is just click the link in the description or go over to www.boydclewis.com forward slash GRC. Check out our assessment. Check out our Trustpilot reviews. Guys, I am here to help you take your career, your life to the next level. And I wanna do it so that you can end the cycle of financial poverty. This system has worked for me. It's worked for hundreds of people around the world and it could potentially work for you too if you're willing to do the work. So guys, that's it for this video. Like, subscribe, hit the bell so that you're notified whenever I drop new content guaranteed to take your career to the next level. And this week, while you're out around, start doing these critical exercises. Ask yourself, why did this happen? What was I expecting? What could be done differently? These types of questions will lead you to different outcomes and problem solving. And that's how you make money. That's how you get paid. That's how you add value to the world. I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.